Hi everyone, it's Denise with In Liquid Color. I am so sorry that I have been MIA this month. I have been so busy with my own personal life and my work life. I have been up to my ears in commissions for the holidays and that's finally winding down, but I wanted to make sure I got out a video before it was too late to do any last minute ordering for the holidays. Um, through December 19th at 9 a.m. Pacific time, you can place orders in my Etsy shop and they will still be guaranteed to arrive in time when they're shipped first class with USPS. Um, if you are interested in any of my watercolor prints, or I make little clay animals too, a lot of the ones that I've been doing lately are commissions, but I have some more generic ones on my Etsy shop as well. The link is in the description below. Um, it's just under my name, so Denise Soden. And um, if you're just doing shopping on Amazon, I know Prime is really great. You can order up until almost last minute with them. If you are able to use the link again in the description below for my Amazon Associates, any sales that you make through that link, whether or not it's a specific item that I use in my videos or not, will help out this channel. So I appreciate you taking the time to look into those options for your holiday gifts. All right, so that leads us into our video for today. I'm going to be doing something that was requested by some of our viewers, and that's sharing some of my sketch work with you. Um, and that leads directly into our giveaway that we're going to be doing this month that I promised you at the end of the last video. In order to spread awareness about the different social media platforms you can find me on, um, I'm going to be having some milestones in my Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube pages that will unlock more and more prizes that I'll give away. So um, just right here on YouTube, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for anyone who wants to comment below on this post with your favorite sketch from this video. Um, you can do so below um, and there's going to be three other opportunities for giveaways in addition to that one for this video that is if we can reach 1200 subscribers here on YouTube I'm about to cross a thousand thank you guys so much I'm so excited um, but if we can reach 1200 by the end of the year December 31st I'll be giving away another sketch if you hop on over to my Instagram account at in liquid color um, if we can reach 250 subscribers over there or I think they're called followers on Instagram and if you hop over to my Facebook page if we can get 200 likes on that Facebook page then that will be the third giveaway so four opportunities to win something hopefully that makes sense I will put the details in the description below and um, please go ahead and if you're not already a, a follower or a subscriber of my Instagram and Facebook accounts um, you can do so and share it with your friends and let's get those numbers up there so I can give you more free stuff all right let's go ahead and get started I've been talking plenty long so, so the very first watercolors I ever did um, came actually when I was working at my old job full-time as a zoo educator I was coming up with an activity for a program that we had and we were doing these animal silhouettes um, where we would take water fill in a shape and then just drop watercolor onto it and I loved the way the paint flowed and um, just the colors and the vibrancy that we got from it so after that I was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and take a look into this medium I really enjoy it and uh, that's kind of what started me down this long old rabbit hole um, I saw some YouTube things that I really enjoyed um, this was just a galaxy one of the very first things I ever did just playing with color it's layers and layers of, of different watercolors and I think these if they weren't praying they were Reeves and both of those brands are really, really affordable. Um, but yeah, it was the first first thing I ever did, um, aside from those little silhouettes. And then once I got my first watercolors, again, I think I think these were Reeves and then a sample tube of Magello Blue that I had from Mission Gold that came with my palette. This was the first piece of Arches paper I ever painted on. <laughs> um, so I was at a local meetup for artists and I had some sketches that were on my phone. And this is the first iteration of that Rhino painting that I currently have available in my shop. And that is on a lot of the, the marketing and the branding for, for my social media. This is the first version I ever did. And then I also worked with some monochrome pieces just to kind of play with value and get an idea for that. So not everything that I have to show you is, is interesting or has a great story, um, but I figured I'd still try and show you what I do have. These are some little penguins that I did last year to make some holiday cards, and I have sold out of them. They used to be available in my shop, but um, they were just a cute little project that I did. Many of you have seen the Galaxy video that I have on this YouTube channel. That was the first video that I uploaded here. I did these three little mini 
galaxies. This is on the first thing I ever did on a hot press paper. And now I get into kind of my sketching. Um, so this is when I was playing around with ideas for my mythology series. I've done a dragon, a hippocampus, and my take on my griffin with a peacock. And I was going to do another woodland series. So these were just some sketches to try and help me out uh, with colors there. I never got around to it, but there's still time. I still might do that. And then I was watching um, in the Mind of Watercolor channel here on YouTube uh, and was practicing my my few as few strokes as possible chickadees um, based on his help from over there so just just some various sketches these were some trees again on the mind of watercolor I'll put a link in the description below to his channel um, I was trying out some different tree shapes this was um, a mushroom and a snail that I had from a watercolor class that I was taking and just playing around with a pair uh, just doodles mostly um, got a little landscape scene there, a little bird I was trying to use different colors with. So I don't know how interesting this is, it was just requested so I figured I would do that. And then based on what you guys say below, um, I will try and pick which ones that I will use as prizes for this giveaway contest. I'm not willing to part with all of them, but uh, <laughs> the ones that uh, I don't mind seeing in that another good home, I would be happy to share those. My camera really wants to change the color of blue on the autocorrect, so let me try and do purple and, and green first here. These were um, the paintings that I did for the bookmarks that I have available in my Etsy shop. They're only $4, um, and they're double-sided. These are obviously much larger than the bookmarks are. Um, and I used reference photos that I took in Africa, and um, it was a lot of fun to do. I also have some other neat ones that are in other colors, but they're blue, and it makes my my screen go wonky colors, so we'll just <laughs> we'll skip those, I guess. Um, and then I started taking a watercolor class here at an adult education continuation um, school just for fun, and so we had a number of exercises there. Um, these were two that I did uh, at the same time using the same bell pepper, and I have never really done a lot of still lifes, but I wanted to, to try my hand at really drawing from experience since most of what I do with animals is based on photographs. Um, and this is two different methods. So on the left hand side I have one that I use layers and built color over color over color to try and build up the darker values. And then I also have one where I just used um, much higher strengths of pigment in some areas and diluted in the other and just kind of work from one end to the other. So this is all in mostly one layer and this is multiple layers. And it's just fun to compare the different looks of both of them. And these were just a couple little exercises that we had of a fall leaf. It was out of a watercolor book that we were using. And I never finished this, but it was going to be one of those really cool little toadstool mushrooms. I also had an instructor in that class that loved lobsters. So we had lobster uh, assignments more than once, I think. <laughs> And then I was also sketching and playing around with eyes to see if I could strengthen my skills with that. Let me switch over to my... Hopefully you can see that a little bit better now. Practice with eyes. The dog's not as good, but I like the cat one. I don't know why my camera hates blue so much. I'll really try and fix that before the next video. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the clownfish that we had an assignment for. Um, and a secondary assignment that I never ended up finishing. This was um, ink first and then watercolor over, and this was going to be watercolor with ink on top. I just never got around to it. And then I love the clownfish so much that I decided to do another one here. Uh, another really interesting assignment that I did, I'll try and show you just this part, is that we had an assignment where we took pure tube paint and applied it with um, a palette knife and we just put it directly on the paper and then used water to burst out the colors from there. So it's not a technique that I would probably use for most of the style that I do, but it was still really fun and uh, a really neat assignment. So that's just a mug. Then here's some feathers that I did. I was going to make a card out of them, I just never got around to it. But they're pretty and they're fun. 
And then I also have this cow. That was part of the art class as well. Uh, it's an ink and watercolor drawing. The last thing I have to show you is my watercolor sketchbook. Now I'm not going to be giving away any of these sketches because I like to keep them in my book, um, but I figured I'd still show them to you. Um, this is the book that I use for plein air painting when I go out, um, and it's not very full yet, but I've got here are some sketches from the San Francisco Zoo. They've got rescue sea lions, and then I've got a baby giraffe over here, um, an emu, and then a couple of really interesting birds. And then um, I went camping last summer, I guess fall, it was in the fall. So we've got chipmunk on some wood, and that was the scenery from the vista point. This was the sunset view from one of the campsites, not the campsite we got to stay at, but one of the other campsites nearby. And I went to the Oakland Zoo. If, you, if you're on Instagram, you've probably seen a lot of these pictures. I do post pictures there, so if you'd like to see more, that's a good opportunity to head on over like that and then uh, help us reach our goal for the giveaway as well. And then I've got a couple more. It's a hyena, a boa constrictor, and a golden frog. And then I had a couple also from the Budapest Zoo. Um, I really actually love these little parrots and I'm hoping to do a larger painting of them next year. Um, so hopefully we can be on the lookout for that and then another really interesting bird as well. So again, not real full yet. This was back from October was the last painting I did in here on my way back from Budapest. And um, I've been slacking a bit on my personal art due to all of the commission work that I've had for the holidays. But I hope you enjoyed watching that. Hopefully it wasn't too long and uh, yeah, and my next video that I come out with is going to be a tutorial. I know it's been a long time since I've been able to give you a tutorial. It will probably come the week after Christmas, is my guess. So I hope you have a good holiday, and uh, feel free to check out the Amazon links, the Etsy links if you can place an order. There's also a code for Etsy for just tomorrow on Sunday, the last day to order. Um, and the code is LASTDAY, L-A-S-T-D-A-Y, for 15% off your order. Um, thank you again so much for helping me reach almost 1,000 subscribers. I think I will be hitting that um, over the holiday, the little break that we're going to be taking here. So I'm, just, I'm so grateful, so appreciative, and I can't wait to create more content for you um, at the end of this year and going into next year. Thank you so much for joining us, and I will see you next time.